Have you ever experienced issues with your thumbs in bowling? And I guess I'm talking to you one-handers and not the two-handers. Sometimes I think maybe I should be a two-hander because it'll eliminate all my issues with thumbs. Now, part of my issue is the fact that I'm really, really, really double-jointed. Anybody else out there? I'm gonna speak on that. But I'm also gonna talk about thumb pitch, what we should be experiencing with our bowling. Really? I'm really going to talk about thumb pitch today and what we should be experiencing with bowling and what we should not be experiencing with bowling and specifically with our thumb. And that's coming up next. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so what do you know about thumb pitch? This is something that your ball driller, your pro shop operator should be very experienced with. And I will tell you that when I started bowling, when I was like six years old, I remember going to the pro shop in Milwaukee where I lived and the guy was measuring my hand and then he called all the other guys over and said, hey, look at this, look at this, look what she can do. And I'm very, 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 very flexible. I can do all sorts of crazy things with my hands. And so I'm very, very double jointed. And I remember that as a kid, them having a hard time fitting me properly. And as I was growing, of course, that continued to be an issue, you know, and when I got back into bowling, you know, I've, I've shared before that I bowled in college and I, I stopped bowling for 20 years, just life happened. And when I got back into bowling and I was in another state, I went to see somebody um, to drill a ball for me. And I was having problems. I was having a lot of pain, not only with my thumb, but with my fingers, everything, it wasn't working right. And I was starting to have all sorts of issues with a lot of pain and blisters and things that should not be happening, okay? And so I ended up switching to another ball driller that was recommended to me. And he referred to my hands as Gumby hands. <laughs> and so he was very experienced. He's had other people over the years that have had double, double jointed this. And it's not the most common thing, but for me, he changed my pitch on my thumb and he really, you know, rechanged my span a little bit and things like that. And it really fixed the issue. Now I still have issues with my thumb because I'm always going to have issues with it moving around and doing that. But what he ended up doing for me is moving my pitch forward a quarter inch and kept the lateral the same. Okay. So for me, that's a little bit different than most people, but it's, it works for me. Now that's why I switched to the interchangeable thumbs and my feel issue is so important with my thumb for bowling good games and clean games and coming out of the ball cleanly. I'm curious if it is for you. But if you're not familiar with thumb pitch and if you're experiencing anything like blisters, discoloration on your fingers or your thumb, different areas like that, some calluses. Now, some calluses in bowling, if you bowl a lot, are normal and that builds up over time and that's okay. But if you're developing some weird things or any kind of pain with your hand, you want to go back to your pro shop operator or if you're not getting what you need from that person, maybe finding another one that, that can help you with your specific issues on your hands. Zero pitch is going right into the center, drilling straight into the center of the ball, okay? And then if you're moving it forward like mine, you're moving it a little bit closer to your fingers. And if you're a reverse pitch, you're moving it a little bit further away. And it really depends on your hand. We are Nobody's the same, right? It's just kind of like your thumbprint. Everybody is different. So that's why you really want to talk to your pro shop operator. If you're having any kind of issues, do not live with that. Go and see them again and see if you need an adjustment. Now, if you're a child or if you have a child in your life who's bowling, um, you want to make sure that they're regularly getting their fit adjusted. And basically kind of a rule of thumb there is when their shoe size increases, go see your pro shop operator again to see if their span or anything has changed with their hand or needs adjustment with their bowling ball fit. You also want to make sure that you're not squeezing the ball or doing anything funky with your release. You want to make sure that it's coming out of the ball cleanly and you're not doing anything to manipulate your release. I've shared before how I use interchangeable thumbs and I like these because I have several different sizes and my thumb will literally change sizes two, three, sometimes four times in a game. And sometimes it's kind of annoying if I'm being honest, but that's me. My thumb changes sizes. Some people don't have that issue. I'm curious how many of you guys have that issue and what you do to kind of fix that. For me, I use a lot of bowling tape. I have the shiny stuff on the back of my thumb so it comes out cleanly. And I have a little bit more of a tacky tape inside my thumb. I'll, I'll put some links in the description and some of the tapes that I use. If you guys wanna check that out and I'm layering and putting tape in, taking it out or maybe changing thumb sizes and it's all 
about the feel. I just pulled a tournament this past weekend and I, you know, there's a few interchangeables that I really like. So I usually will kind of use those and, and, and play with tape a little bit. And so when I finally got into one that it wasn't so tacky and it really just, my thumb started coming out, then the strikes were coming, you know, that one of the games was a 258 because I was getting out cleanly out of the ball and I felt really good about it. But if my thumb's not feeling good or if it's hanging up because it's sticky, humid in the bowling center, tape, things like that, that can be an issue. So you want to make sure that you really have what works for you. And again, everybody's different. So I want to hear from you guys how you fix your thumb issues. And, and I don't want to hear from you two-handers because I know you're going to say, I just bowl without my thumb. I get that. Um, but you know, for the rest of us who are bowling with a thumb, what do you do to increase the feel? How do you change? Do you use interchangeables? Do you mess around with tape in your ball? Have you had an issue where you've had to have the thumb pitch changed? Or maybe as you've gotten older, has that also changed with how you're releasing the ball and how you are bowling? I'd love to hear from you on that as well. So if you got something from this video today, guys, I'd appreciate you liking the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you'd subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon because that will notify you every time I drop a new video. The Rebecca Bowls community has been growing and I have loved hearing from you guys in the comments and the community tab that we now have open. We have hit over 600 subscribers. We're really close to 700 right now and over 35,000 views on the channel. That's amazing to me and really unexpected. I'm appreciating you guys and the community that we're building here. I would love to hear from you other videos and topics that you'd love to hear from me on that I can share with you guys. And I appreciate you guys so much. See you next time. Thanks.